In the washing chamber, there is a connection to the air system for testing and drying, a connection to the water system for washing the filter, a connection to the sewer for rewashing the first heavy contamination of the DPF filter. Particulate filter standing equipment is represented by the following adapters. There is a universal adapter that can be mounted on almost any filter or any connection. There are also these flanges with uh, different holes to fit any flange. Also cut off such flange in order to connect to a corner. There is such connection that, that needs to be cut off also has such a diamond flange where it often comes in handy if we need to put on a pipe like this. In this case there are such uh, silicone adapters. Also included in the package is a pneumatic adapter which is regulated by a pedal. We put on the particulate filter pipe. We press the pedal and those connect to particulate filter. You can connect a corner here and then connect the filter for washing. Also, for the pneumatic valve, we have different diameters such as silicon inserts with the mandrels in order to cover more diameters of the connected filters. We also have to connect diesel particulate filters from Euro 5 trucks. Works as follows using these bolts, you can set the required height and with this screw we can tighten the filter to seal it. For Euro 6 filters we also have an adapter with which we can watch the filter in two directions without any additional installation operations. We connect either from above or below and those can be washed in available direction. Before connecting the particulate filter to the test system, it is necessary to calibrate the system. For this we connect the same adapter that we connect to the filter and turn on the test. The result was 5 millibars. In order to bring the system to zero, an appropriate correction must be introduced. I think it can be a millibar less to see the units. Checking. After we brought the testing system to zero, we can test the filter itself. Press the start button. We can see that the back pressure of the filter was 40 millibars. In principle, this corresponds to a clutched filter. After we tested the filter, the air system must be plugged. This is necessary so that during the washing process, water doesn't get on the electronic heaters on the air system. After we tested the filter, it is necessary to fill in the chemistry. The amount of from the dirty side, theoretically, in principle, it is also possible from the clean side of the exhaust filters too. After we filled in the chemicals, weighted connect the filter to the water system. Also, the filter must be attached before washing. Go through the top flushing setting. Directly when rinsing with a heavy 
soiled filter, the settings is always set to low water and low air in order not to damage the filter ceramics. You can set the time intervals as you need. I set 4 and 4 seconds. Duration will be about 20 minutes. Apply and you can press start. You also see it during the operation of the stand, the indication of the operation of the nodes is displayed as follows. Air is low, water pump, air is low. After we wash the filter, the stand has the option of the purging the filter by connecting high pressure air. To do this, there is such a faucet. After we have blown through the filter, we can start drying. This option is necessary in order to speed up the drying process to remove excess moisture from the filter. Let's repeat, after we have dried the filter, if we want to cool it down, we can set the minimum temperature to 25 degrees. Press start and the filter will cool down for the time you set. After we dried the filter, it must be tested to see the washing result. Go to the test tab, click start. We can see the test results. Company logo, contact details. You can enter with your own hand whatever you need date and time. Also, in addition to such a visual document for printing, a log file is stored in the computer's memory, which records absolutely all tests that you take at a certain time on a certain date.